AMI-28 Any Combat Helicopter Crashed in Uganda The Ugandan National Army has reported casualties, deaths and destruction following a helicopter crash. The incident took place on 2 January in the village of Nyamasinjuri in Buonacorigio. The MI-28 helicopter took off from Soka Airfield and was heading to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. As a result of the fall of the helicopter in the village, one of the houses was damaged, killing its resident, as well as the entire crew of the helicopter. Uganda became the third customer of MI-28 ENI helicopters, after Iraq and Algeria. In total, Uganda ordered 57 units of these helicopters. The MI-28 ENI is an export version of the Russian MI-28N. Uganda installed the H-025E radar on its MI-28 NES, as well as dual control, as on the MI-28 UB. Also, all Ugandan helicopters are equipped with the Presidency Onboard Defense System. One of the three MI-28 NE helicopters recently received in 2022 from the Russian Federation crashed in the village of Nyamasinjuri. In 2023, Uganda trained its pilots and engineers on the new MI-28NE. For eight months, 12 Ugandan servicemen were trained to pilot combat helicopters, and 52 military engineers received skills in servicing Russian helicopters. The Ugandan military claimed they needed the helicopters to fight the Lord's Resistance Army in the north of the country. It is possible that the bases and strongholds of the militants are located in South Sudan and the border areas of the DR Congo.